Hello, Coffee Time friends. How y'all doing? Welcome to Coffee Time with John and Mama. I'm John and this is Mama. If you're not liking and following us on Facebook, go to our page, Coffee Time with John and Mama, and do those two things, like and follow, and hit the notifications. Folks, tonight is a super simple, it's too hot to cook. It's uh, 80 degrees here at 635, and uh, it's too hot. So, Mama made that a big old bowl of pimento cheese today. Y'all seen her make it before. This is her famous pimento cheese. If you want to know what you're making, go back to one of our other videos. Just put in pimento cheese uh, coffee time in your Facebook search and it'll well, take I you to. I can tell them what I did on that. Oh, go ahead, Mama, and I'll cut okay. this tomato up while I you're done. I cooked one jar of these diced pimentos, this little jar here, and about a pound of Velveeta cheese and almost a pound of American cheese, and I shredded it. And uh, when I put my pimentos in the bowl, I put about a tablespoon of sugar and a dash of salt, and I mixed the pimentos and sugar and salt and stirred it till it all dissolved. Put a big heaping spoonful of mayonnaise in it and stirred it up, and while it was setting, I shredded the cheese and uh, put it in there, and then I just stirred it up and let it set a while so the flavors was blend. But I always make it just a little thinner than what you want to spread it on your sandwich because if you don't, then it gets real stiff. And But if it does, all you have to do is just add a little more mayonnaise to it and stir it in and it'll be all right. And so that's all we've done today and got it ready and we're gonna have us a, a pimento cheese sandwich for supper. And it's over to you, Johnny. <laughs> <laughs> over to you now. Mm -hmm. I'm cutting tomatoes. A bright red homegrown tomato. This come from the farmer's market. We still have not got a red tomato out of They're the garden. They're getting real pink over there. <laughs> They're coming along, but this is a beautiful red homegrown tomato. And I'm getting every bit of goodness out of it. I'm going to cut that stem portion off and the rest of it's going to be for eating mama i thought um we were just gonna have to have tomato sandwiches tonight and i came home to a surprise yeah i tried to surprise you with some pimento cheese mama makes the best pimento cheese I'm just the only reason it's not world famous is because everybody in the world's not tasted of it yet <laughs> that is not so it is true mama and Mama's got her toast ready. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to cut mine. Cut what? I'm going to cut mine. I don't want to cut So there's that beautiful bright red garden tomato. Yum, yum. Okay. So it is super simple tonight. There it is. Toast. Perfectly toasted. You mayonnaise on yours. Right? No. So I'm going to set it back in No, ma'am. I'm good. Yeah. I like to do mine with a little light smithering of pimento cheese on both pieces of bread. Just like this. Now you can grill this. You can add this wonderful pimento cheese to a hamburger. If you've never had a pimento cheese hamburger, by all means, try one because they are the bomb. <laughs> they are delicious. Um, but I like to put mine on both sides like that. And then, fancier than then I like to put my tomato on there just like that. Mama, here's you some tomato. I just made one swipe. The reason I do that is if you put a bunch of pimento cheese, it'll ooze out and it causes a bigger mess. If I do it this way, I get the flavor. Mm -hmm. All at one time. Uh -huh. I get the flavor, but I don't have the mess. I make a mess no matter what I do. So. And there it is, folks. We're eating off the fancy china tonight. Plates. See? It's on there, it's good, but yet it's not going to ooze out. So what are y'all eating? 
You want you drinking coffee or you want to I'm have drinking coffee, coffee Mama. Okay, I'm not getting this. I just poured me up a half a cup. You gonna get tea? I was gonna get uh, Sprite. Do you want tea? No. Mm -mm. You want a Sprite or? No, I'm good. I'll drink my coffee. Coffee and pimento cheese and tomato sandwich is delicious, folks. If you've not tried it, don't knock it yet. Look at that, folks. Now that is some goodness. I don't care who you are. Pimento cheese and tomato on toast is delicious. BLT on toast, delicious. Mmm. Outstanding. I had to sample. That's just a little sample. It's been a while since I've had Mama's wonderful. I told her that about a week ago. So we've not had any of your wonderful pimento cheese with our tomatoes yet. Mmm, mmm, mmm. And it is worth the wait. Mama, I had a sample. Oh, no. Well, my back was gone. Yeah, I know. Let's bless it before I eat it unblessed. <laughs> <laughs> Won't do you no good. Dearly Father, we thank you for this wonderful meal. We thank you for these precious hands that prepared it. And Lord, we just pray that you'll be with us and watch over us, lead and guide and direct us. Remember all of our friends that are watching tonight and be with each and every prayer request, those spoken and unspoken. Lead, guide, and direct us in all that we do. In your name we pray. Amen. Amen. Yep, this is a this is a summer favorite. If you've not had it, you gotta try it. Of course, unless you also don't like pimento cheese. Now, I will say this. I don't care for the store, though. Mama's. I thought I was going to have to cut her elbow off. <laughs> it seems to be offending her here lately. <laughs> you know what the Bible says. Yeah, it's a... Oozing on that. <laughs> She hit her, what did you do originally, Mama? What was it originally? I bumped original? it on the door facing originally, and I keep a bump in it. And that was like Saturday of last week, wasn't it? Yeah, it's been about two weeks, and I keep a hit. She hit it on the door facing because of place. Now, every time she goes through a door facing, she wants to hit it again <laughs> and knock the scab off. I re-hit it every day, I think, just about it. So when she hit it while ago, I told her. We're going to cut that off because it's offending you terribly. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, mercy. Doesn't take a big spot to bleed for you to it, Mama. No. When you're on blood thinners, you don't. So what are y'all up to? Oh. Sad the recipe is not on their page. Susan, Dick, are you talking about this recipe? It's on... It's on there. It's on our page. Our recipes are in the comments. So you can go and type in pimento cheese coffee time and you'll see several videos that we've made pimento cheese on. Yeah. And the recipe will be on there in the comments. Some of them are in the explanation at the top. Some are in the comments below. Nope. Oh. Hello. Dennis. Hey Colleen, how are you? Hey Lou. Mom, I do the same thing. I am, I don't know what you're saying the rest of it. You bump yourself? Accident prone. <laughs> <laughs> hey Tracy, how are you? Uh, what is, hey John and Mama. I love home open pimento cheese. Lou, yeah, that's what I started to say. You may be saying, I don't like pimento cheese, but maybe you've not tasted homemade pimento cheese. There's a huge difference in that orange stuff in the store and what you make at home. So get you a jar of pimentos, which is just little peppers, and uh, mix it up like Mama told you, or you can go in there and find our recipe and uh, try it at home before you say you don't like it. Because trust me, they are. I don't like store bought. There's one brand, and I think it's the Palmetto. I think is the name of it. And it's only close. It's no, not near as good. But it is close to being like homemade. And one good thing about pimento cheese, you can make a little bit small batch of it. 
That pimento will last, so you can make it twice out of one little jar. Thank you for the stars, Derek. Um, you can make it twice out of one jar, and it's easy. And you can make a small batch, a big batch, and it'll last for a good while in the refrigerator. The flavors went through it pretty good. No longer I've had it. Made. When did you make it? Just a little, little earlier, so it would have some flavor. Well, it's delicious. See how it's that color? It's not, it looks oranger on there than it really is. Um, and that red bow makes it look a little, but it's smooth. It's not that store bought kind. I didn't tell them. I use juice and all in for my, my pimentos. I used to drain them and just use the pimentos. But I started putting juice and all, and it just gives it a much better flavor. If you put your pimentas in your empty bowl, put your sugar, about a tablespoon of sugar, but use the jar of pimentas, oil, um, all the ingredients in the jar, oil, juice, whatever you want to call it, and uh, put your sugar, stir that up, let that sugar dissolve. Then add your cheese, grate your American cheese in there and then stir that cheese in with the pimentas so all the cheese has pimento flavor on it and then i start out with one tablespoon of mayonnaise and keep adding and it doesn't have that much mayonnaise in it maybe a couple of tablespoons mm -hmm. i had somebody ask me today about filming horizontal turning the camera now we tried that one time and a lot of people didn't like it because it made the video smaller they said when they held their phone this way but if you turn your phone it'll cover the whole screen of the phone so we may try that one evening just giving you a heads up we may try and see what the horizontal filming does see if y'all hate it as much as you did last time and uh, we'll give that a try and see if it gives you more room to see it, it will give you a wider view and uh, Mom and I will both be all the way in the screen like this all the time. Maybe. <laughs> Let's pull you up just a touch so I can read your comments. How much sugar? About a, about a tablespoon. If you want less, put less. If you want to use a substitute, you can. We use American cheese. Um, and some, uh, what is that? Baby? Cheddar? Velveeta. 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 So Mama uses uh, just American cheese up off the block. And uh, any you can use it, period. You can get the slice, you can get whatever you want. And then, how much velvet and how much? Are there? I used to about the same amount. Half and a half. Half and a half. Now, that's not a that's not a, a specific amount because no. if you want to make a cup, it'll be a half a cup of each. If you want to do two cups, it'll be a cup of each. So, it's whatever you use half the cheese, velvet, and American. Mm -hmm. um, and that's really it's simple. It's so simple to make it, it it's. I don't know if it's cheaper than buying it, but no. it sure does taste better. Mm. I've not bought any pimento cheese. I can't remember. I don't remember. It might taste different now. It's been so many years. No. I've had it at occasions, and people use it at work sometimes. I've had a pimento cheese sandwich with it. It's the same old pimento cheese that you remember, Mama. <laughs> so y'all finding something good to eat tonight. Today is the last day of Tupperware. Oh, Wednesday. Oh. To, this is the last Wednesday of July, folks. Last That's Wednesday. That's hard to believe. Tonight at 11.59, it'll go off. Okay. All the deals that we've ran, all the deals we've, you've sh we've shown, all that'll be gone tonight. And in the morning, probably about 3 tomorrow, they'll start all new stuff. They don't do 12 o'clock like they use. It takes them a while to put it on there. So tomorrow, all the new stuff will be on for August. I thought of that earlier. It's the last day, and I thought, you know, this is just unreal. July is gone. I love every day, and as we always say, we have uh, good days and better days. And um, But, and I'm going to enjoy August. <laughs> But August has always been my least favorite month. I guess it started out when I had to go back to school. <laughs> but there's even a bug in August that I can't, just don't like. It sounds like an alarm clock. I've told y'all the story before, I'm sure. But yeah. it just goes that 
You just hear it and it's ing. You know that one. If you live in the country, you've heard it, I know. I hate that bug just because it sounds like an alarm clock. And uh, it's hot here in August, always. But now it's been so hot in July. Maybe right. August will be br- give us a break. I don't know. But we have had a wet July. And I'm thankful for it. You won't Very know thankful. the difference between July and August this year. August is usually this hot, hot heat. When you open your door and it feels like an oven hitting you in the face. Um, so I guess if I had a least favorite month, August would be the one. I like them all. But August is the roughest one, I think. But it's Mama's birthday. Oh, yeah. Mama, that means your birthday's coming up next week. Mm. Fourth. Yeah. Woo. Whenever it falls. <laughs> Most of our family's born in August. There's a lot of birthdays in August for our family. For Mama's family. And, of course... You had to be odd and be born in March. Well, my grandma's was in March. So, mm-hmm. so since there's so many in August, I bet every other day there's a birthday. <laughs> Some of them are stacked up. Some of them are like three days in a row we have birthdays. My brother is four years older than me. His was the 2nd of August. My oldest, well, not oldest, but it is, oldest nephew now is the 3rd of August, and mine's the 4th of August, so ours was right in the middle. I mean, 1, 2, 3, right? And their dad's is the 6th, and eight. one of them's got a, a child who's the 5th, right? 7th? 8th, I think. We used to have a wooden calendar. <laughs> <laughs> we still got it, I just think got it built. That had the birthday cakes. We only had one. And I had to paint and trace and draw <laughs> about 12 birthday cakes for the month of August. And what I would do is just turn it over and whatever date, and I'd put it on the back of it. So when we filled in the calendar, there was like 10 or 12 birthday cakes on the calendar every August. Mm-hmm. But it was right, wasn't it, Mama? Oh, yeah. We're loaded with birthdays. Folks, that's it tonight. Super simple, easy pimento cheese, tomato on toast. You can't beat that for supper. I enjoyed that pinto beans yesterday and fried potatoes, but oh, this them is. potatoes was so good, wasn't it? This right here is just as good. And it's just, it's a whole lot simpler. Six hours cooking beans, <laughs> about 10 minutes stirring up some pimento cheese, and both meals were heaven sent. So. We're just thankful and blessed. Mama, you got anything you want to add tonight? No, I'm just... Blessed to be here. Yes, that's right. Folks, y'all have a wonderful night. Have a blessed night. Blessed to be up and going. Wake up in the morning with a renewed spirit and a renewed mind. And just say thank you, Lord, for waking me up. Enjoy tomorrow. We'll see you tomorrow, Lord willing, sometime. And um, you can look up that pimento cheese recipe. And uh, it's out there several times. Mama's made pimento cheese for y'all probably three or four times at least in the past years. Hopefully it's been on our that <laughs> it's, it's out there. Yeah. I know I've seen it. Y'all have a nice night. Enjoy yourself. Find you something good to eat. Make you some memories and love on somebody and just say, it's a great night. We uh, will see y'all tomorrow. Say good night, Mama. Good night, Mama, and God bless you. Bye bye. Bye, y'all.